Welcome to The Last Stand 2. So this game does get more involved than the first one in the franchise. The first one is a pretty simple survive 20 days. Not too bad. This one got a lot more fun. They added some new gameplay mechanics which really enhanced the experience. So let's dive right in. Forty days. It's been a month. Back at square one. The crash still haunts me. They're still everywhere. Radio broadcast said today that they're sealing off the mainland. Forty days until the last boats and aircraft leave. Gotta make it to Union City. We of course used the same controls as last time, so just start mowing them down. Uh, these first levels are always really easy. We've got some returning cast of characters, as well as some new ones, as far as the zombies. It's a lot of fun. I like how the pistol, your fire rate is limited to how fast you can click pretty well. Okay, so the first big changes. Look at this. This is awesome. This is where you repair your barrier. Uh, you find out how many travel supplies you have, and you search for weapons, survivors, and travel supplies using this map. Super, super cool. So we'll toss in, you know, an hour to repairs, and then you can see that each one has a search time down the bottom left-hand corner, and so you allot your hours accordingly. So, obviously, things with pictures on them, they you're drawn to them. You want to search those first, uh, but be sure to search... Uh, stores, houses, apartments for supplies as well. So you can see we got one travel supply. We didn't get any weapons or any survivors, but that's fine. It's only day two. So we'll stick with the normal loadout. You'll see the traps thing pop up on the left side, but we'll worry about that a little bit later. And as you can, you can hear the sound effect of things being hit. Uh, always start just by shooting off into... Uh, whatever doorway you have uh, just because it'll make your life a hell of a lot easier because uh, you'll be doing a little bit of damage to the zombies before they ever get close to you and rinse repeat so had no luck in any of the ones with graphics on them uh, so we'll try the big house we'll try the question mark and and we only got a couple hours left, so uh, yeah, we'll go with the gas station. Got more supplies and got the chainsaw. So if it wasn't super clear in the intro, uh, basically the entire point to this one is you have to get to a place called Union City before they seal off the walls to the city basically and you're stuck out here in the wastes with zombies forever it's definitely doable uh honestly not even that challenging it's like the gameplay later in the game is more challenging than making sure you can get to the end of the game in the right amount of time So yeah, we took a little bit of damage there, so toss two hours in, and then a lot what hours we have left. Uh, we'll try a little park storage building at the bottom for fun. Uh, we got okay, so we got supplies as survivor, and we got our first trap. We'll toss down a couple traps, but we really want to save them for later in the game. And so, you can't give the chainsaw to survivors, but you can give a gun to them. And so, be mindful of that. You can see that we can lay traps wherever the hell we want on this 4x4 grid. So you just kind of pick your favorites. Obviously the center lanes are going to be a little more congested and used. So I like to start with those and Jesus, we're right into it on this one. Oh, 
but it's not too bad. I, I feel, I don't know, he just had a little bit more time to work on this one. Or the team, whoever made it, and they did a great job keeping it basically the same, but some modern amenities, some graphical updates, and some quality of life updates, which make this game my personal favorite in the franchise. But you can see on the left hand side, now we can travel if we want. Uh, we don't have to stick in this town anymore. We have plenty enough supplies, gotten some survivors, you know, the whole deal. So we're starting in Glendale. Obviously we wanna to go to Union City. Um, so you're given an option here. You kinda of just get a split. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't wanna leave yet. I want to see if I can get a little bit more supplies and maybe another survivor real quick. But we can travel now. I just don't want to. All right, so we got a revolver and a gas cylinder. And supplies. So we'll go ahead and tick off our main weapon, grab the new guy, and allocate a better gun to one of our people. Oh, like three and one. Yeah, other than the reload time being a little bad on this gun, I mean, it's got a lot of chutzpah, so that's a fair fucking trade. All right, I think we're officially ready to travel. I don't know why I always go this way between Big City and Whistler's Grove, but I always go to Whistler's Grove. So we're going to go to Whistler's Grove. All right. We'll also get every achievement in this one as well. Whistler's Grove. Basements? Not a fan, but it's a necessity at the moment. Built a crude barricade upstairs to hold them off tonight. Should do the trick. Don't have much time or energy to build anything substantial. Best bets to find what I can and keep moving towards Union City. On this map, we have a lot of houses and only a few things that are marked, you know, kind of signifying maybe they're more important. It's been a long time since I played these, but I think there are specific houses in every area that you want to search and you're guaranteed to get things. I don't think it's randomized, but I didn't do that. We did, however, get bear trap, compound bow, and another day's worth of supplies. So we're gonna lay some traps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And we'll stick with the revolver and the chainsaw. Also, if I read that correctly, uh, he said we were in a basement but it looks like ground level to me. I was going to say, you would not want to socket yourself in a basement that you know things are going to be running into. Like, that's just guaranteed dip. Well, thanks for doing some work, guys. Appreciate it. say is I can't hit a fucking target. Okay. Night one of Whistler's Grove done. Took a little damage, but with the extra people, the added hands, we repair faster. Mm, it's really just an eeny, meeny, miny, mo here. Like I said, there's probably guaranteed houses to go through, but... Oh, two survivors. Okay. It's like the more the merrier every freaking time. Uh, yeah, we'll um, give them the gun and try out the bow here. Uh, yeah, I think we're good on traps. Uh, now the bow is the secret freaking weapon in this game. It is amazing.
Like, really amazing. Look at that. And, like, the hunting rifle in the first game, that it's a one and a reload, and a one and a reload. And so, I oh, don't know, it's awesome. A little chainsaw action, clean up the barrier, and right back to the bow. Right in the dick. Gotta love it. Alright, that was a pretty not so bad night too. So we're gonna keep searching around. Big thing we're after here is supplies. So we can get the hell out of here. Okay. Gas cylinder. Whatever. Yeah, we'll lay some... Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll lay some bear traps. I don't care. I want to keep the gas cylinders. They explode. Nice. Look at that. If we wouldn't have laid that down. Wouldn't have caught him. Perfect. Oh, we just lost a survivor. Um, yeah, the the army guys are back in this one, and they've also given some of them, like, functioning weapons, which is not ideal. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, we took a lot of damage this round. A lot of damage. We just need supplies, man. It doesn't help we lost a bunch of people, so now I gotta toss a lot of hours into repairs and not getting like one more day's worth of supplies so I can get the fuck out of this town. Whatever. I don't think there's, yeah. I don't know. Last minute change. Probably a mistake. No supplies. So why does the music get louder when I click on weapons? Strange. So I'm not sure if the bow triggers these gas guys, so I swapped out to this gun. We're gonna try to use one of these gas canisters strategically if we can. Wait till we get some of the more ridiculous uh, like armored dudes who show up. There's one. Perfect. Probably used it a little prematurely, but you get the idea. God, I really hope we're nearing the end of this one. Okay. Uh, do I have enough supplies to travel? I mean, it's telling me I can. But do I spend one more day and search through a couple more things just to see what we get? Yeah, okay. Now we have five supplies. That's better, but probably not worth staying. Oh well. Let's make it through this night. Get the hell out of town. Well, hopefully make it through this night. Win it out, chainsaw it out. 
Thanks for stealing my kill. Nice. Got him a good distance back. Kind of holding them off the barricade here. Go down. Killed the last guy in the doorway. Okay, so yeah, we're getting the hell out of here. Got two options for travel, like Aspenwood or Claysburg, but Claysburg, bigger, more people, more thing. See, more population equals more of everything. Duh. Holy ground. <laughs> Don't think it'll make a difference to them, the bastards. The pews make a fairly decent barricade, though. A lot of stores around here. Hopefully I can dig up some supplies. Note, I've seen a number of them carrying weapons. Could get nasty. It definitely isn't getting sanitary. They're gross. They're dead. They're rotting corpses. It's gonna be nasty, alright? So we have a lot of beautifully marked stuff here. Just telling us to click on them and pour our hours into searching these buildings. And I'm a sucker for shiny, so we're doing that. And we got bubkus. Yeah, maybe not the best strategy to search the areas that seem like the most obvious areas to go, because everyone else is going to have the same idea. I probably should have switched back to the bow, but... I mean, it's the first night. How hairy could it get? Caught one. I got an army, man. I'll pick off the guys around him. Come on. Face shot. There we go. Chainsaw cleanup. Okay, and we're keeping them at a good distance. That was not too bad. For our first night. Okay. Um, a little bit of repairs. Definitely search the department store. Hmm. Kind of weighing the hours here. To do two three hour ones or like a four or a five hour one if they got a five. I don't know if they go to five. They do. Mm. Well, now it's tougher. Mm. Do I chance on a marked one? Yeah, screw it. Um, okay, we got a survivor. That's a. That's a helping hand there. I really wish I could find more guns, but take what I can get. E no, okay. Um, we'll save the traps. Good to be back uh, stabbing people from very long ranges. Gotta have that suspension of disbelief with the uh, uh, fact that he has no quill on his back. And he's probably got the fastest reload time, like Olympic levels fast reload time on that bow. And unlimited ammunition. It's a zombie game from the 2000s that we played on the internet instead of doing schoolwork. So it doesn't matter. Is it fun? Yes. That's all that matters. Quit wasting your bullets, guys. They're dead. Again. Dead again. Twice dead. So we did not take much damage. So slap one hour into that. Uh, go for... I really want to search that gas station, so... We're going to kill two hours... Okay, we got a UMP-45. I'm 
not even wasting my time with it. I know I hate the weapon. I do not like full auto weapons in games like these. It's like, it's good for suppressive fire, but I mean, you're the main character. You want to be as effective and destructive as you possibly can, not just kind of laying down a bunch of bullets that don't do much damage. Come on. The dog. Like, the dog is right in front of you and you couldn't fucking kill him. Okay, that guy took two arrows to the brain. God, these sprinting ones, I tell you. If you could all just trickle in at a very slow, predictable rate, that would be terrific. God, it's such a difficult choice. Like choice paralysis. I'm like, I don't know what to allow. I don't know what's a guarantee. I got bear traps. I need supplies. I need to move. I only need five days worth of supplies. That's like a handful of cup of noodles a person every day. It's a zombie apocalypse. No one cares about your fucking sodium levels. Let's get the hell out of here. I'll go you can go 28 days without food. I'll just uh, not fucking eat just to get the hell out of whatever this is. Gotcha, bitch. Okay. He just kind of tripped over his own feet. Maybe he's pretending. Caught you, bitch. Like how they just look like a wacky, waving, inflatable, flailing arm tube man when they get caught in those bear traps. Okay. We're faring pretty well this round. I don't like military man with a machete. I'm trying to shoot Margaret. And then he's, his bulletproof vest just soaking him up. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, I guess we waste at least another day searching. Yeah. Mm. The shinies call to me. It's got a mark, so it must be good, but shouldn't, shouldn't. We're going to do it. Hey, okay. Can't guarantee it was not the one with the dollar sign written on it. So we'll take it. Lay traps. Kick ass. It rhymes. Don't question it. Okay, well, I got the chainsaw out for military man, but uh, my lackeys were able to make short work of it. I'm actually rather happy with the fact that we haven't died yet. Just some of these knights get a little hairy and it's been it's been pretty nice. You know, just uh not dying in the zombie apocalypse. Gotta appreciate it. Father. I, well, he was just coming to work. I could have let him come through. Eh, he took an arrow to the knee. I bet in a past life he was an adventurer. Me too, bud. But yeah, we're the fuck out of Claysburg. And we only have one travel option to Aspenwood. We have more than enough travel supplies, so I don't intend to stick around here long. Middle of nowhere. Haven't heard anything more on the radio about the evacuation. Can only hope they stick to their time frame. 
Don't like my chances of finding much here. Best to get what I can and keep moving. Union City or bust. So yeah, you can see this is pretty... Pretty doo-doo. Um, if memory serves correct, you can find one of the better weapons. I think the hunting rifles here. We'll see if we get it, but I'm more worried about keeping on schedule than finding that because the bow's really good. Well, we got our travel supplies on the first round of searching. If memory serves correct, this is a little bit of a hairy one, so we'll lay down a couple traps at least. Oh yeah, this one sucks. I remember now. Just, yeah, they made this one a lot more hectic. Because you're out in the middle of nowhere. Making noise. And the zombies are probably pretty excited just to see some nice folk around. Uh, they probably get a little lonely because everyone else flocked to the big cities. They're just like, well, hi, damn. It's real nice to see some uh, polite looking folk uh, in our neck of the woods. <laughs> it's like a delayed death. They're just like, I guess I'll die. So they should use the sunlight, at least out here, to indicate to us when the night's over, I would hope. Nice to have some sort of, like, gauge. Okay, yeah, it's starting to lighten up in the background. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was like, it's always nice to have a gauge to let you know when the shit's about to be over. But that's what adds the intensity. So although we have enough supplies to travel... It's like, do we risk the gun, or do we just get the hell out of here? Because that's only, only three days travel. Yeah, fuck it. I, we're getting short on time. I don't want to risk missing the deadline date. Last stop. Union City's only a few days from here. Better hurry. Miss that boat, and I get the feeling it's all over. Uh, yeah, probably. So, quite a bit of stuff to search here. Uh, probably should have got here a little bit sooner to do a little bit more thorough searching, but that's fine. Always a sucker for the shinies. Gonna search all the big guys first. Okay, we got two supplies. That's, well, that's good. And we got hand grenades. Don't even know how that works. It's like, do I risk a death figuring out how they work? And the short answer for me is no. Gonna lay down some explosive containers. And get right into the fun. Oh, nice. You can blow those up with the bow. Oh, dude, we lost another one. Well, you know, you, hey, got the explosion. Um, you take a couple hundred of theirs, you know, they pick one of yours. It's fine. It's not, but it's fine. Oh, don't, don't you fail me now. That's too, okay, now you guys have gone too far. Yeah, now that side's just completely defenseless. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, that was so far my worst round. Yeah, that sucked ass. Can we travel to Union? Six days. I have enough supplies for five days of travel. And I've got eight days left, so I can at least spend another night getting one more supply. 
So definitely need some repairs after that. I'm just checking the time on all these real fast. There is a two hour guy. Mm, but shiny. It was a mistake. I only got a bear trap. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's person that one and get them off the pistol. Let's see, these fucking hand grenades, like... I just don't think... Yeah, I don't know how to use them. Definitely need more traps down. Yeah, just load it up. We're now short-staffed, so... Let's see how good this goes for us. He ate a lot. He was very hungry. Loving those bear traps go off. Uh, yeah, except for when you catch them like right at the front. Like, I probably shouldn't have put ones right up on the barrier. And it's just kind of a waste. Don't. 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 No. Uh... Come on, come on! Maybe? Oh, no, no, another rush. Nope. Oh, in the chain. Yeah, yeah, just go ahead and die there. Yeah, all reliable. God damn it. Yeah, yeah, last stop, whatever. Okay, it says we have enough supplies for six days travel. So we can do a couple things here. We can travel here and beat the game. For the first time at least. Not gonna be that guy. I'll I got another ending I wanna show you as well. Union City. Safe at last. It's finally over. Survived 39 days and killed 116 zombies. So we'll go ahead and back out to the main menu. It's like, you know, travel when you can, get to Union City, keep keep your keep your skin safe, you know. Uh, but we're going to continue on from day 32. We'll actually get through it this time, I promise. And I'm going to show you guys another fun ending to the game. Okay, so yeah, it set us back one day's worth of progress, I think. Always a sucker for the shiny buildings. So we'll go ahead and search all those. Fingers crossed. Okay, we got supplies. Oh god, it reset all my shit. But it did reset our survivors. Welcome back. Not gone, but forgotten. Yeah. Land, land mines. Haven't really used any of these, so. It's probably too many explosives right next to each other, but I don't know. It's a mistake. We'll find out we made when it's too late. Okay, that didn't set off the landmine, so that's that bodes well. We're just kind of chugging through this night. You kind of already seen it. It is randomized every time, but we're just trying to get through this guy. Do a little more searching. It's honestly my favorite part. Like, killing the zombies is a lot of fun. But just the thrill of the search. Oh, nice. Um, that's what always lured me in. I just, I like, I like the map layout. Like, that hand-drawn map aspect to it. And 
I don't know. It, that was a really cool part to me after playing so much of the first game where the searching and stuff was very simplified. I liked that. It wasn't, you know, oh, fill a meter up and then you find a weapon. It was, well, search the buildings, allot your time, and best of luck. There's night 32 down. So we can travel, but we're not going to. We're not going to. I'm going to do some repairs. I'm going to search everything we can. Like, I don't know. Do I risk going to Fort Tran? No. No. That's like... Mm, no. Yeah. We'll just keep searching here. The ending I'm going to give you guys anyway, it doesn't really matter. I don't need to go to all the locations. Yeah. We'll stack a couple three-hour guys. Just kind of looking, you know, it's like I want to search stores. Oh, wow. That was a haul. M4A1, AK-47, and more hand grenades I'm never going to use. But now we can really equip our guys here. Yeah. And I'll go ahead and use the, I think the M4A1. Show you what that does. Just... I get a little boring using the same weapon all the time, so let's spice it up. I know the bow's good. Okay, that might have been a little premature, but great way to kick off the round. I mean, using a full auto, granted it's a little bit stronger than the UMP-45. I, it's always still, for me, at least, a risky maneuver. Maybe I don't use them right. I'm not really sure. But I almost always regret using full auto weapons in these games. Like, when we get to the third one, they add another aspect to the gameplay. And, yeah, it's like, you don't have to use guns at all. Which is awesome. I always favor a strength build. We are faring well, though. Last guy. And done. Why is the round not ending? Oh my god, there's a dog down here. Do your fucking job, dude. Swear. Yeah, it's like, we'll... We'll do some repairs first. I do some quick mental math and make sure I get that up to snuff. Okay, then... I go for three three hours, go for a four and a three, go for a big guy. Yeah, it should be good. It wasn't. Well. It's day 34. Seven days to Union City. Hang on a second. Something's weird. It says we have five days of supplies, but then in the other menu, it says we have six days. And it takes six days to get there. So... Go ahead and search. That's so day 34 done. Like, we got nothing. Uh, we're going to outfit him there. Let me go back to the bow. 
set a couple traps. Get some boom booms, all right. Mm, yeah, those are probably too close together, but glorious, glorious fireworks, huh? And we'll, if I get to it, we'll try the hand grenades. Yeah, that was a mistake to put all those that close together. You live and you learn, all right? Try the grenades. Maybe back up a bit. Okay. Okay. I mean, at this point, we're just having fun. I I think you guys can kind of get the idea of what ending I'm going for here, seeing as we made it to Union City on time. You can kind of fill in the blank yourself there. Those hand grenades were not half bad, though. Uh, better than I expected, but I figured... Fuck it, that's honestly something I've never used before. So I had no idea what to expect. I mean, it's a grenade, so I knew exactly what to expect, but... How the game was going to handle it as far as distance thrown, stuff like that. Definitely kind of a short lob. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was like, maybe chainsaw, but no. We were at the end of the night there. So we're officially on day 35. We have six days worth of traveling to do. Oh no, we're gonna miss it by a day. And it was over. I missed the deadline. Union City was gone, so was my chance at survival. Survived 41 days, killed 259 zombies. But that is The Last Stand 2. This game for me personally is a huge dose of nostalgia. I love zombies, and I love just simplistic games like this that really added that element of scavenging and scrounging around for supplies and you know having to fight hordes of zombies like that to me i mean that is my soul's medicine i appreciate all of you for sticking around and i hope to see you in the next one where we play the last stand three thank you